this video we're going over the zero option which is available if you press second and trace this button right here when you're looking at your graph you notice the second option says zero you can scroll down or press two to select it it's going to ask you for a left bound and a right bound and what this option does is it tells you when your y value is equal to zero so looking at your graph and some segment of the graph that's asking you for a left bound and a right bound in that interval, in that segment you're choosing uh, at which x value is the y value zero. So if I, if I enter in an, um, an x value of negative two, right, that starts my interval and I press enter, right, there's negative two for x and let's say the right bound is at negative one or let's say negative 0.5 press enter shows you this is the interval right here now you can see it right here the graphs coming down the y values are coming down eventually it hits the x-axis and that's when y is zero so basically this option is finding your x-intercept so now you choose a guess in that interval press enter and it tells you the x value when y is zero now you might run into a situation um, if you hit second trace again and you try to find the zero. Let's say you're scrolling over here and your interval is from this point to this point right here. Right? You get an error when you choose an interval that never crosses the x-axis. So there is no x-intercept. And that's one thing you might encounter here. Alright, thanks.